According to Russian media, the detention of WNBA star Brittany Griner has been extended until mid-May. Griner, who is being held on charges of possessing a cannabis-based product as she passed through a Moscow airport, has reportedly been in custody since mid-February. Griner's detention was extended as an investigation into the matter is still ongoing. The U.S. State Department has declined to release any information on Griner's case or the work being done to ensure her release and its position is supported by federal law, which prohibits U.S. officials from providing personal information about American citizens arrested or detained in other countries without their express written consent. Griner's personal attorney and family have strategically decided that they will also stay less public about her case and focus their efforts on working behind the scenes to guarantee her safety and get her back home. Joining us to discuss is Academic Director of Graduate Programs at the Preston Robert Tisch Institute for Global Sports at NYU, Dr. Daniel G. Kelly II. Dr. Kelly, first I just want to ask this question. If this were, you know, a star in the NBA or a star in the NFL, do you believe that she or he would still be locked up in a Russian prison? To be frank, Charles, I would have to say yes. I would say the war in Russia, Russia between Russia and Ukraine is making this a very complicated situation. Um, the current situation with Brittany Griner is that she's probably one of the most acclaimed female athletes of all time. And if you look at her record, two-time Olympian, she has been a, a, a Russian expat for the past uh, 10 years playing for in Katrinburg in Moscow and has won four European Cups. She's wildly successful. She is the LeBron James of her generation. She's the, the female athlete who can dunk consistently in the game and play the game as good as any man. And the bottom line is, is that if it was a male counterpart of hers in this same situation with the war in Ukraine happening, I believe this case has kind of put her between a rock and a hard place, between the politics and the criminal activity. And it's a tough situation for Brittany Griner. Do you believe that, that the war situation is what is compelling her attorneys, her family, the U.S. government to say very little about this case? I do. I believe that it's, it's very complicated. I think that the State Department, the U.S. Embassy in Moscow is having very difficult times getting access to information for Brittany Griner to advocate for her, her family, the, the NBA, the WNBA, and her legal and business representation is just having a hard time communicating directly to her. The fact that the May 19th date for her court case was announced is the biggest news for her because it does give a timetable for when justice will possibly be served. And, you know, how, how exactly do, is your understanding that this is happening? How are her attorneys able to be there? How are they, you know, working within the Russian legal system? How are they communicating? with her family? Is her family or anyone from her family actually in Russia to go to any of these hearings? I don't know if her family is actually in Russia, but I do know that her wife, Sherelle, has been active within the community, keeping the awareness of Brittany Griner's case going. The biggest thing is that Brittany Griner had to have a Russian attorney who understood the system and understood properly the charges of smuggling which with Russia's anti-narcotic stance could lead to a possible 10 year prison sentence. And so with these extreme legal measures, the hope is that the charges could be reduced to possession, which would lead to her being deported from the country, which would be a, a positive sign for Brittany Griner's case. And, you know, if she is eventually deported from the country, does that mean that it ends her Russian basketball career? It would heavily impact her Russian career. I, I would assume that after this experience that this will probably be the end of her Russian basketball career. Um, but I imagine that she will be a highly sought after free agent in her basketball career outside of Russia.
Well, we are all hoping for the best in the situation. I know that the investigation is ongoing, uh, and whatever comes of that investigation will be presented in whatever hearing or, or trial that they conduct for Brittany. We are, you know, prayerful that she will see the light of day or see American soil before May, but certainly hoping that the May trial, if it goes forth in May, turns out well for her. Dr. Daniel G. Kelly II, thank you so much for joining us on Prime. Your Black History Moment is next.